Good morning, everybody, or afternoon, or whatever the heck noon is. Good noon to everybody. Yeah. Hello, Don. Hey, Don. Hey, Don. Hi, Don. How are you doing? Hey, Don. Doing well. Everybody doing good? Doing good. Doing yeah. well. Yeah, Except for nice. the smoke. No. Where, where are you? Uh, Vancouver, Washington. And uh, we're getting uh, a lot of smoke in what well, from the Washington fires and Oregon. Well, let me ask you, um, are there fires in Vancouver? Uh, no, they're, uh, they're east of Vancouver, uh, basically in the Washougal area. In BC? Uh, no, no, no. This is, uh, the, this is the Columbia River uh, oh, right okay. across from Port. Okay, yeah. Um, oh, I, dro I drove down from Montana la yesterday, and the further south and the further west I went, the smoke got so bad. And by Tri-Cities, it was really dense. And coming down the gorge, it was like pea soup. It was so thick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's dangerous to be out in, the, in a car today. In fact, it's dangerous just to be out. Phoenix is, uh, we're getting, it's, I guess, it, I can't smell it out there. If it's a local fire, sometimes you can smell it. We've had it. Uh, but Phoenix is uh, dark. It's it's like a, a, an eclipse, uh, and we could not see the sun until about 11:30. It got too bright to look what? up at the sky. Uh, but yeah, what the fuck is standing around for? Um, all all um morning, all we would see is a little pink dot in the sky, and that's all California. Mm -hmm. Um. And I hope uh, that the uh, gender reveal turned out really nice, and maybe they'll call her Blaze. We'll see. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's nice. Yeah, the winds have shifted from the west here, so it's blowing it kind of away back towards the fires. Hopefully, that'll stop and put them out. But... Yeah, let's hope, huh? Yes. Does <laughs> right, this happen every year in the States? Uh, yeah, well... It Not has. Bad, it's though. more frequent. It, it has, yes. Uh, we need better forest management. We really, mm -hmm. really do. We, we've got to start clearing the, the forests of all the, the stuff. There's, there's forests um, up in uh, California. I was up through uh, Shasta a couple of years ago, and there's forests where the, the crap that's fallen out of the trees is so thick you can't walk through the forest. We need to we need to clear that out it, unless or or we let Mother Nature do it and Mother Nature does it mm -hmm. by fire. Yep, mm -hmm. that's that's yeah. right. So, yep. mm -hmm. all right. Well, I'm so glad to have you guys here. Let's get this uh, show on the road here. And there we go. We are looking at shadows. Shadows are really fun to play with. Uh, we're going to start with Lauren's picture up top here. Hi, Lauren. How are you? I'm good, Don. How are you? Good. Is that a 105? No, it's a 50, right? No, that's a, that's a 28 to 55. Oh, it's okay. That's a, that is an old, that was my very first lens on my Minolta 101. Ah. It okay. doesn't fit any cameras that I've got today, but I thought that really would make a cool picture. That's like uh, that's like my friend had you know he kept his old Canon mount the old twist mount mm -hmm. you know he kept those uh, he thought he could sell them at some point and then Canon changed mounts and he thought well I'll hold on to them they'll be worth something someday oops <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna have him manage my investments because uh, you know those those things are worthless I mean you can't really find unless unless somebody has a very old mono uh, uh, Canon camera that will accept those yep. things. That's an old. That's an old Vivitar. Yeah. All right. Well, that's cool. So you're shining a bright uh, light through it, right? Yep. It's a flashlight. Oh, a flashlight. Okay. Sorry. Very cool. Um, when you're doing something like this, I would. Your paper's got a wrinkle in it. You see it? Is that what that is back there? I thought that was a shadow. No, that's a wrinkle. Uh, the paper um, doesn't have uh, good good memory. And as you will go back to, or go forward to your shot here, you see it right in here? Yep. Um, you see that wrinkle there? 
that'll exacerbate that. Now that's interesting what's happening there, but I think that is the overhead light, right? Uh, I don't have any overhead light. That is just, I'm in a dark room. Okay, so that's just, we're just picking that up just because I'm the light's on this? Yep. Huh. Well, it may be a, uh, it may be a, um, a bit of a, uh, a light thing, um, whatever, it, you, you can see it here too, a little bit brighter and it gets darker in, in yep. here. That's very, very nice over here. I would take, honestly, take this side and just match it. Okay. That way you've got the, 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 the beautiful push from this side light, we're seeing it then. Having it light up over here, it's almost like it's the, the magician really revealing the trick, you know? Get it over there and get it covered up. And then these little guys here and here and here, that's, you know, healing brush, bomb, 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 and it's gone. Right. But make it absolutely perfect. And what did you shoot this lens with? That was with my, uh, my new... Uh, uh, Tamron, uh, twenty eight to two hundred macro. Oh, okay. And that was that was at uh, twenty eight. Twenty eight to two hundred macro. Yep. Wow. Very cool. Good job, sir. Thanks. Sir. Uh, how bad? How what? Well, now I want to ask, what's your exposure with that flashlight? Um. Let me see what I was no. at. Looks like my flashlight. Kind of similar, huh? Or is yours similar, big? My, this is, that's a, uh, mine is a three C cell flashlight. Ah, okay. That, that can focus, you know, I can focus that yeah. beam. This one focuses as well, but it's, it's got those rechargeable NICADs. Yeah, give me a second here. I can't remember what I had it set at. How many of you guys have, how many of you have ever painted with light? Anybody? Has anybody here ever painted with light? Yeah. I mean, a couple of times. Oh. Yeah, it's lots of fun. Yeah. yeah. Who, who said lots of times? Oh, no, lots of fun. Oh. I said it's lots of fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We ought to, we ought to, uh, um, I, I, I don't know if I told you guys, we're going to keep this going, these free classes. Uh, the next one we do here, uh, we're going to take two Saturdays off, and then we're going to start food. Um, so they will continue. Um, I'm not doing Project 52 again this year. Uh, so I'll, I'll start it uh, in, uh, we'll enroll in January and start it in February next year. Um, but I, I do want to keep doing what I'm doing here. So we're going to do a little food, a little eight-week food course. So that's all I um, Don, that was an that was at uh, f four point eight at one third of a second. Okay. At ISO two fifty, and that was actually at fifty millimeter. Okay. Very cool. Who wants to shoot food? I would love that. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm all for that. Good. Fantastic. I'm all for. Yeah, let's do it. I'm in. Oh, fantastic, Adi. This is really cool. Why, thank you. This is cool. You you took the, that. Obviously, you got two matching lights, or did you Photoshop this these in? I, actually, what I did on this one, I uh, Photoshopped uh, the the shadows. Uh, you know, shooting from the left hand side, then the right hand side, and then merging them. Okay. But this morning, I I shot a, a different piece, and I said to myself, "Well, you know." My Nikon does, uh, you know, multiple exposures, and so uh, so I tried it again with a, like I said, a different piece and uh, shot it using multiple exposures. Yeah. Even in camera. Yeah, it's very cool because you took the shape of the bowl and repeated it back there, mm -hmm. and I really like the fact that you stuck this in between the two of these things. Yeah, that that uh, I. It was one of those things where I was experimenting with the, with just a uh, single shadow, and uh, and I said, yeah, the the shadow definitely you have to have the shoulder. Yeah, 
what's your that's like foam core is that your surface yep mm -hmm. yeah yeah very nice that's cool man well thank you thank you and i do have a behind the scenes and it's just a very simple uh, setup just some straight foam sometimes, core sometimes simple is all you need mm -hmm. oh and and by the way that uh, behind the scenes was taken uh, yesterday morning by my granddaughter Aww. she's becoming, she's becoming old, a photographer herself how old is she yeah uh, she'll be seven at the end of the month oh wow good good we need another photographer we need, we need young people getting into it mm -hmm. seriously so you're you're going to be her mentor yep i'm 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 doing that very cool sir I had my granddaughter. She's a um, oh, she's four. She helped me wash my motorcycle. Oh, <laughs> you know, you, you, you're getting her on on the road, are you? Uh, no, her mom is. Uh, yeah, that that ain't happening. <laughs> but well, um, well, maybe when she turns twenty one or something, her mom doesn't have to know. There you go. I gave her a rag and a bowl of of warm water, and she uh, uh, totally clean my seat about eight times. She wouldn't mm -hmm. do anything except clean the seat, dry it off, clean the seat, dry it off. So the seat <laughs> is very, very clean right now. Yeah. Um, this is cool, Judy. Or Josh. Josh, I'm sorry, I was too far away. Josh, how you doing? All right, how are you doing? Very good. This is very cool. I like your Thank you. hard shadows. I love the, the background. I'm drawn to um, these kinds of old rusty backgrounds and things anyway. So this is really, really nice. A couple of things I like that you did is that position your light to give us the shadows, but you didn't forget about the bolts either. So no matter where we go in here, we got light on what this, this stuff is. Now, was that uh, part of your plan? Yeah, I, I did want, you know, because I wanted to see the bolts and not get them lost. Right. And the shadow, which, so I kind of raised the light up so it would shine on the bolts and still make the shadow. Yeah, cool. The well, shadows look good. The shadow looks good. The, the, um, the still life looks good. Composition is solid. Um, and now in post-processing, did you do anything to blend this color or is this pretty much what you got? What I did is I just warmed it slightly to kind of, and it kind of brought out the richness. Okay. Um, but otherwise, that's pretty much all I did to the color. How about contrast, sir? I did bump the contrast a little bit, not a lot. Okay. I mean, I already had a lot of contrast because the yeah. way it was lit. Yeah. I didn't want to go too far with it. Yeah, sometimes we bump the contrast, we actually darken the shadows because when you do the contrast, it makes it bright, brighter and the darks darker. And when you're already working with shadows, it can be a little dicey. Right. That's great. What is that surface? That is a very old baking tray flipped upside down. Ah. Which I love the way the, the surface looked on the back, like the rust and stuff, which is yeah. so when I found it, I kept it because it looks so cool, basically, <laughs> for a background. So, still life shooters... Um, there's no way you can be a still life shooter and not end up being a pack rat. <laughs> right. You know, you're going to find an old board out on a hike and you're going to, Oh, I got to have that. And your friends and family will think you're nuts. <laughs> um, but it's, it's just true. I mean, some of these, uh, you know, little, like I say, little boards from the desert tiles, you know, your, your friend tiled his house and he's got three tiles left over and he wants to, you know, throw them away. And you're like, no, oh, right. <laughs> So, you know, uh, always have to have a place to put them. Nicely done, sir. Thank you. Nicely done. There's your light. Yep. Um, is, oh, this is the light here? This is the light, and then the camera's in front of the table. Got it. Uh, what is, in, what, what is that, that light Th there? That's just an SB800. Oh, okay. Flat right. speed light. Yep. Just bare. Just bare, yeah. Cool. I threw it in my softbox bracket just so I could point it down at the table. Yeah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. 
That's Thank a, you. is that the bracket that has a little thing that squeezes out onto the? Yeah, it's good. It's like a new year bracket. It like fits in the back of a softbox. Yep. Yeah, those yeah. are cool. Yep. All right. Oh, Mr. Klaus is not here. Bummer. This is really, really nice. Really nice shot. You've got your object here. Your shadow is there. It's super clean. Um, you have a behind the scenes. We do, but I can't tell. I cannot tell what his light is. Only light is a Harbor Freight 588 aluminum LED flash light, flashlight. Okay. So probably, oh, there it is. There it is. Make sure everybody sees flashlight over there. Throw in the shadow. That really looks good. Nice job. Nice job, R.E. Good job. Hey, Don. Yes. Uh, the screen is smaller than normal. Is that just me or everybody seeing it? Um, yeah, it does, does appear a little smaller. Um, I see black on both sides. Yeah, that's it. A little Thanks. arrow up on the top right hand corner of the frame. I think if you click that double arrow thing next to the tag, it makes it bigger. Like in that black. Is that is better? That... Yes, it is much better. Yes. All right. And we got uh, screws here by Ilona. Is Ilona here? Ilona? No, not here. Um, these are great. This is exactly what I wanted, Alona. I mean, in my head, this is perfect. You know, it's like we don't really know what we're looking at until we look at the shadows. Uh, and I think that is, oh, I'm, yeah, can't come in. I think that's a perfect, a perfect way to use these shadows. That is really cool, Alona. You got all those different textures going out. We see the, the screw shapes. Very nice. One SF600, I think she means SB600, right? What is an SF600? Anybody know what an SF600 is? We know what an SB600 is, all right? That's a Nikon, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, well done, Ilona. Uh, 100 millimeter macro, okay. Really cool. Very cool. Judy Hernandez. Yeah, hi, John. Hi. So uh, I like this. We don't really know about what the sculpture is. And then when we see the, the shadow, we don't really know that either. But when we put them together, we figure out pretty quick that it's a woman with her arms up to her right. head. Right. Right. Yeah. Little yoga pose. A what? A yoga pose. A yoga pose. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. I took that with, uh, well, I tried a bunch of different, uh, I don't have very many lights, you know, photography lights. I just have some flashlights and one uh, softbox. And uh, I tried everything and I was going for that hard shadow. So uh, the only thing that seemed to work was uh, my cell phone light. <laughs> See that? Yeah. What is that? That is a Samitan available at Amazon for $24 free shipping on Prime. Is it a speed light? It's yep. a, oh, okay. Which is why I have two of them because I figured I couldn't, there's no way I could pass that up. I, I had to buy it. I now have, I now have 16 speed lights. So oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a disease. I'm seeing, I'm seeing people, uh, hopefully they'll get me fixed, but, um, now I'm trying to figure out how can I do photography with 16 speed lights? Everybody's like, and I'm thinking, hey, I got 16. I'll put them over here and little snoots and everything. So we'll see if that works. Uh, I like this. Just so it's just one flashlight you used? Yeah, the little light on my cell phone, my iPhone. Okay. All right. Now I want you to clean this up over here. All right. We have white down here, and then it starts getting orangey back here. Okay, yeah. Let's get it all white. 
okay? Okay. How do you do that? Uh, well, there's a couple of ways you can do it. Uh, you, are you a Photoshop person? Not much of one. I know how to do a few things. Okay, well, in Photoshop, okay. you put it up like this, and you got your little magic wand button. Yes. On the left. Click in the bright area here for the magic wand, and it should select almost everything. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, if it leaves a little gap here or here, uh -huh. or didn't, it didn't choose it, hold the shift key down and click in where it didn't choose, and it'll add to your selection. Oh, all right. So Until everything's selected, and then just paint it with white. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, yeah. Because that'll really clean it up. I think the thing that's making it look a little um, iffy is that gradient here because it shouldn't be there for a shot like this. Uh, okay. Very nice. Let's look at your, do you have behind the scenes? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that's why it's going warm over here. It's just, you're so close uh -huh. that we're really, it, the, the light is starting to fall off here, inverse square okay. light. And so as it starts to fall off, it's going to go a little gray, plus the warmth of your light, because it really is a, a tungsten-based light, and your iPhone is going to just start to warm up that white. So that's what's happening there. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. Thank you. And your lens? Uh, it was my uh, kit lens, 1855. I was pretty close, so I think I was about probably around 50. Okay. Okay. Um, and we clean that up, and I think I think it's that's kind of cool. What do you think of the shadow? It's kind of neat, huh? Yeah, I like the negative space there uh, yeah. with the arms, you know, as they're bent. Mm hmm Yeah. All right, thank you. Thank you. Carla. Hi, Don. Hi, Carla. How are you? Very good, and you? Good. This is uh, very nice. Wow. Thanks. It's almost, <laughs> almost like a sculpture. It's almost like this thing is sitting on top of, of this, and it's a, a shadow all the way down, very clean. These are reflections from the tiles, right? Yes, exactly. Ah, nice. Nice. Uh, uh, what are these? That's the surface that I made myself. <laughs> okay. What kind of surface is it? It's just a board and then you paint it over trying to create texture. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, I like it. It's just so subtle. I really like it. I like your board. I like all the little stuff down here. Do you shoot uh, food on it or something? Uh, yeah, I, I was experimenting. <laughs> Maybe I use it for food. So, but it's the first time. Great surface for food. Great surface for food. Absolutely. Um, Thanks. Is it uh, water-based paint? Like um, no, I don't think so. Like wall paint, or is it like? It's uh, it is wall paint. It's acrylic paint, actually. Acrylic. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. So it won't it won't peel up and stuff when you get it wet with food. All right, cool. Okay. What is your eighty-two hundred with a grid and barn doors? Yeah. I think there's a, oh, there it is. Okay, cool. Hello. Yeah. There you go. There we go. Um, that's really nice, Car Carla. That's exactly what the the assignment was about. Well, we don't thanks. see we don't see the shape of this until we see the shadow. Yeah, I was I wasn't sure if it was done correctly, but um, it was done correctly. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Yeah. If we're, we're looking at it, it, looks like a ball, right? Yeah. Then we see the shape of the shadow, and we realize it's not a ball. It's got another shape to it. Yeah. Wow. Very cool. Good for you. All right. Thank you. I like it a lot. Thank you. Uh, Mark. Hi, Don. Hi, Mark. How are you? Good, thanks. Yourself? Yeah, getting there. Uh, okay, so what is that a chess piece or something? No, 
It is supposed to be a sculpture called The Thinker. Oh, okay. My wife got it somewhere. I'm darned if I know where. I think it's about the use, most useless thing I've ever seen, except for something like this. Okay. So the thinker is not the rememberer? No. Okay. Because um, I can't remember where it came from. Very good. Too busy thinking. Um, your light is, is falling off to, to um, a very soft edge here, which tells me that your light is very close to this. Am I correct? If you see the behind the scenes shot, um, just scroll down there a little bit. Nope. Oh, just here. Scroll down. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mark, uh, do you have in your, you should have this pro photo, right? No, that's a uh, Godox SK 300. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, do you have a diffuser on your strobe light? I've got a 10 degree grid on that reflector. Okay. That's what's softening that edge a little bit. But you're really only, what, two feet away from it? Something like that, yeah. Yep. That's cool. The closer you are to the subject, the light is to the subject, the... Um, softer the shadow is behind it the edge of the shadow not the, the density the edge of the shadow as you pull the light away the edge of the shadow gets sharper and sharper and sharper and sharper it's the same way with a cookie which is a cucoloris the closer you get it to your subject the softer i mean the uh the light distance from the light to the cucoloris as soon as if the cucoloris is close to your subject you'll see the, the cutouts very sharp the move it as you move it back towards the light, they become softer and softer and softer and softer until once you get right up next to the light, you may not even see the shapes at all. Um, so that's really cool what you've done here. Thank you. Yeah, I did play around with that a little bit. I've moved my light back and forth just to until I got the shadow that I was looking for. Uh huh. You got. Now, did you shoot that or did you, um, as you were looking for that, did you shoot it or did you just look uh, on the back of the camera until you were happy? Well, actually, I have a modeling light on that, so I played with that. And then I also use Helicon Remote uh, sort of uh, for tethered shooting, so I looked at that in that too. That's just the other shot that I tried. Okay. I actually like this one better. Okay. Yeah. The shadow is, the shadow is more a part of this shot than it is this shot, and part of it is because this is so far to the side of the screen. Mm -hmm. It's it's difficult to figure out what it is when you first see it. Where this one, you know, you really get the shape of this guy and putting him up here, and I really really like this little touch right there. Um, like having his head go out of the vignette, uh, but pick up that highlight really shows the top of it. Uh, this is nice in here as well. Plus these these highlights that are all along these edges. I like this one better. Okay. All right. And uh, behind the scenes, we just saw. Oh, you just gotta go back and then scroll down a little more. Yeah. Here's the there it is. Scenes. Okay, so it's the uh, just put a gel on it, and it's still the grid. Yeah, and then I use a uh, gradient map too. Oh, okay. Just helped it out a little bit. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, Don. Making making uh, art with shadows is, I think it's a blast. I love shadows. Uh, without shadows, we don't really know where the light is. All right, this is nice, Arnold. Hi, Don. Hi, look at that. Wow. Yeah, I originally was going to do a coffee shot with just a love uh, glass poster on the side. Uh -huh. And that did not really work. 
and when I saw the shadows, I was like, I got to do something with this coaster. So I just taped them up, screwed them up, and put a black uh, paper underneath so that I would get contrast in the middle of the box. Uh -huh. And then just added the elements to it. And that's what I got. Okay, so are you using a grid or just a hard light? Um, it's a hard light. Um, it's basically uh, a snoot. I had to put a snoot on it because it was a bill bulb. Um, so you could see the bill bulb there. And that's what I got. I mean, the LED there is just for focusing the, mm -hmm. the subject because it's total darkness. Is, is this a shadow that I'm seeing here? That's a shadow, yes. You're seeing the shadow. You're shadows. getting that much shadow coming from through this. Um... Yes, yes, you do. Wow. Yes, you do. That's really cool. That's but again, I was shooting at full power, right? That's three hundred and sixty watt second light, uh -huh. and that's like an F twenty five. And my ISO is four hundred, so that's actually a lot of light here. Right? The reason for the four hundred ISO because the, the white background is starting to go gray if they go like ISO one hundred. Mm -hmm. So I had to pump up the ISO. I didn't want to do that, but I actually had to do it that way. I couldn't get any more light out of it because it was for power. Okay. So, yeah, my only, you know, my only solution is actually increase the ISO. I tried to change the shutter speed. It does not make a difference, as you know. No. So uh, they're yep. not going to help your depth of field. Yep. Yep. So, ISO was the only solution. Yeah. And it's nice that we can go up to 400 these days. I love the but, little battles that, that are happening down here, too, by the way. Very okay. cool. Yeah, I had to break that up because it was just so white there. Um, I had to put some kind of elements to, to counter mm -hmm. the, the shadows, the heavy shadows. Mm -hmm. That's a, that would make a, a very nice editorial photograph. I, I really I can see it. Uh, making people stop and look at it, which is what an editorial photograph is supposed well, to be. Well, the idea actually is timeless love because mm -hmm. I have a, a, a watch there, right? So. Very good. Thanks. Nice oh, yeah, It's just two lights. I mean, nice that step. was. Yeah. That's in the SB910 um, with this red gel on it. And that was it. Yeah. Because Very originally nice I didn't have. You're doing what it's supposed to do, but you're but, still getting those nice sharp yeah, colors. Yeah, the red gel was added later on. I wanted it to just be monochromatic. But when I added the rose, I was like, wait a minute. I got to put some kind of red thing on this, right? Because when I added the rose, I was like, wait, it just stands on its own. So I had to put some kind of color on it. So I added the red gel. I think I would tell you, honestly, to go in and lighten up this rose a little bit. It's right. getting okay. really dark there. Pull up the highlights. Just a, a mm, okay. you know. All right. All right. So just bit. the highlights, then. Right. Yeah, just the, just the highlights. Uh, don't open up the shadows or anything like right. that. It's not what okay. we need to do. Just need to open up those highlights just a little right. bit. Okay. Um, we'll get a, a little... Right. Taste your rose out of it. All right. All right. Good. Good. And that's my second image. Um. um okay. Um. Where are? Where's the shadow? I'm supposed to. What you're looking at is the shadow. You mean the little shadow by the coil thing? No, the, well, not just that, but that whole arc of the light, oh, all diagonal. Of the, yeah, oh, all of that. Oh, that Those are okay. shadows. All right. And there's a behind the scene, the next one. Oh, I see what the you next. did. Okay. Yeah. You actually use shadows to make the rows. Right. To put the, the items in. All right, that's cool. Okay. All right. Good job. Yep. Yep. Very nice. 
Dot. Hello. Hi. That's cool. I've seen this type of shot before, but I've never attempted it. So I thought I'd have a go this time. You put the heart in? No, it, it actually comes out exactly like that. No, that's um, what I'm saying. You, but it's yeah. where you put the glasses that makes the heart. Yeah. So. I actually just put the glasses down and it appeared and I'm thinking, oh, I meant to do that. <laughs> Absolutely. It was in your subconscious. Uh, I noticed... I noticed what you just said before about the softening of the shadow and it is a bit soft on the front on the V of the heart. Mm -hmm. um, so I probably need to move the light a little bit further back. If you want it to be sharp, yes. Yeah. If you want it to be absolutely sharp, the shadow, yes, you'd have to move it back. However, yeah. what happens when you move it back? Well, you start lighting up all this stuff over here. Yeah. Did y'all ever notice that photography is a big, you know, give and take? You know, we can take this if we, eh, but we got to give that. You know, mm. it's, we're always compromising. We can shut the aperture down and get one more stop of depth of field, but we got to open up the shutter speed or change the ISO. Always going to have to do something. I don't mind the softness, actually, because I think it goes with your light. Your light looks very nice and soft got a nice little bright area right there so it drives the eye to the glasses and there's you know and therefore instantly seeing the the heart shape there so that works out very well uh and what is your light um it, it's on the next shot it's just one flashlight okay that's a um a pro photo it is just one pro photo. It's got um, a 10 degree grid on it as well. So the grid, if I took the grid off, maybe um, the shadow would be a little bit sharper. It would be a little bit sharper because the, the, um, the grid tends to, sh to soften the shadows on the edges, the way the light's going through the honeycomb. Mm. Uh, but it was also... It might spread the light a bit there. Right. I did get some little highlights. If you look in the glasses, there are some little highlights where the page is a bit curved. Um, but I couldn't think of a way to get rid of oh, those. Oh, in here? Yeah, there's like a line. Yeah, you just went yeah. right on the line. Just to that. I tried to um, get yeah, rid of it a little that. bit, but it's still there. Yeah, I don't mind that. I, I like the realism in the still life. I like the the page curled up there. I think that's very cool. Uh, I like the fact that this one goes off the book. That's pretty cool. Um, there's a lot to like in this. I would think, I would, I would probably, are you a Lightroom or, or uh, um, Capture Photoshop. One? Uh, Photoshop. So you go into um, the, uh, what's it called? Capture Raw. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. when you go into Capture Raw, use your paintbrush and just let us let this area breathe. Dot, we don't want to see it because that'll kill your contrast. So, we just want to have enough detail that we can feel that that light there. It's very, I want it to be very subtle, you know, darker or, or lighter, lighter. 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 Want to see the want to see a bit. A little bit. Yeah. want to know we want to know they're there how's that we don't want to see them we just want to know they're there yeah i get, I get you now yeah, yeah. it's got to be very subtle that looks really nice and i love the little bright area that you've got right in the center and it just kind of drops out evenly on both sides it's a good use of a, a grid that's solid um, thank you very much and we're using uh focal length 20 millimeter yeah now that's on a, a what a Fuji? Yeah, crop sensor. Crop yeah. sensor, okay. Very cool. It's a good shot, got really good shot. Thank you. Yeah, Andrew. Yeah. Hey there, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Hope you are too. Yes. Look at all the design elements you've put into your picture here. You've got the shadow you've got the uh 
the shadow of the window cross, which is probably a cookie, am I correct? Um, that, that was, um, I had this old disco mirror ball, which I threw out, but I kept the spot lamp from it. And um, that sort of cast a sort of um, very round, bright light. And I used that, and that is just a piece of card in front of it, which I've cut the, yeah. the sort of windows out of. Yeah, and I, that's, a, that's a cookie. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, uh, I don't know what all these technical... That's all right. So it, it's known, it's in the business, it's really called a kookaloris. All uh, right. A shape that you cut out and you put it between the light and the subject. Yeah. Uh, I call them cookies because it's clever, I guess. But yeah, so you got a really nice cookie go there, going there. And notice how, because your your um, window is vertical, right? Your little yeah. thing cut out is vertical. That puts this part of it closer to the light than that part of it. So it starts yeah. to fade the edge where your your um, leaves here are very close to the background. So they stay very sharp. That's, yeah. that's really, really fun. The What looks like a record album spinning here is obviously that's not a record album. Is that the light refracting off of the the glass or what's happening yeah 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 um um that is the light coming from the spot uh going through the uh, uh glass um it, it, it was totally unintentional but uh i put the glass there and it sort of appeared and i thought well i'll leave it there yeah absolutely <laughs> yeah it's cool yeah I, one more layer of fun graphics so we got the squares we got the verticals we got the the intersecting lines we've got the uh the cylinder and now we have a round circle as well i had a lot of fun doing it um i must say and um i um i desaturated the um most of it to leave the pink water and the green leaves because it just seemed to it just seemed to work better. Yeah. Well, they, they pop. Those backlit leaves just pop. Yeah. Yeah. That's a cool shot. Wow, it's thank very, you. You're, you've got a great composition going here. Got this sort of upside down L. You know, everything's happening over here. But you cropped it so that we didn't end up cropping this off. You're basically making... This is the shot. I spent most of the time actually uh, setting it up and moving everything around a millimeter here, a, a, a millimeter there. And that is actually how it came out of the camera. I have not cropped that. No, I'm saying your, your compositional crop. Oh, right. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. It's funny when you, when you think about photography and you go out into the woods with your camera, you're shooting all the time. You know, you're like, oh, look at that. I'll shoot that and everything. With still life, you spend two hours setting it up, but the, the actual shooting of it is like kind of a big letdown. It's like, you know, <laughs> take five shots and you kind of go, oh, well, I guess I'm done. <laughs> uh, it's all set up. It's all pre. That's hey, very cool. Good job. All right. Thank you. Good job. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Oh. So he there you go. That's very cool. These were fun, man. Making cookies are fun. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I, um, I, uh, I absolutely loved it. Uh, the only thing that actually spoiled the shot was that I used a piece of paper on the table and that had been rolled up for a year and it's got a slight wave to it. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. I didn't you even can... notice it and if I had noticed, I'd probably like it. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, these things, you can do so many things with these. You could take, let's say you're doing a portrait, right? Yeah. You've got your person sitting, you take this and you shine that on the wall behind them. Yeah. You know, because the closer you get it to the light, the softer it's going to be. And as it gets softer, it's going to get bigger. You just yeah. move where you want it. You've got somebody, you know, leaning this way. You're lighting them this way. And that window's coming in from the back, so the back on the other side. So you've got light against their shadow side. It's very cool. You can do so much with it. Good job, sir. Uh, thank you very much. Excellent. Ron. 
There's Ron. Hi, Don. Hi. That's very cool, Ron. Good job. Thank you. Yep. What are these? How did you get these? I just made a selection of the shadow of the knife blade and then layered it on top of the uh, yep. negative space there. All right. Good. Yeah. So it was just too much black. So I. <laughs> well, you, just, you know, we. It's kind of cool. Like we see the handle, and then we get a, you know, we get the the dots that are out of it too. So. Yeah, yeah. the the black is just uh, two pieces of foam core laid on top of the piece of foam core I had the knife dangling from. So. Um, there are. Uh, really, really good still life and product shooters right now. And one of the hot things that, that they do is they get um, different color uh, paper, you know, um, poster board or paper or something. And they just lay them into designs and then do their product shots on top of them. Uh, paper is awesome. I was at Michael's Art Supply yesterday. If you have a Michael's near you, uh, mm -hmm. Michael's Art Supply. And I would say they had 40 colors of paper. Oh, wow. And of course, I reached for my wallet and I, I went there with my daughter. I reached for my wallet and it's not with me, which probably saved me about 60 bucks. <laughs> but I'll go back. I'll go get them. <laughs> um, which I like how you got the uh, that out into the into the black. That's very cool. Yeah, all, of, all, all in all. Now, what's holding it up, sir? Uh, one piece of... Uh fish line um, in the neck of the handle, the narrower part of the handle there. Okay. It was just just past being balanced. Uh, the tip of the knife is just touching the uh, foam core and then the fish line was, um, oh, I don't know, three quarters of the way down the handle. And it's it kind of neat because you've used this white and black. It actually looks like the white is the light source because it's expanding here. Kind of looks like it's, all, of course it's not the light source, but it kind of has that feeling. Yeah. Like a, you know, like a stage light or something. Yeah, that's cool. Well, thank you, thank you. Now, when you go out next time, you go to the, the target, target range, don't take your knife with you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that was a, a well-used knife and I, so it's kind of tarnished looking. I, it would have, I think, you know, been much nicer if it was a new knife, but um, you know, I used what I had. Well, the tarnish looks fine, though. I mean, it gives it patina. I don't, I, you know, I don't have a problem with that. I'll All right. Yeah, okay, we can call tarnish patina, then, and that's, yeah. uh, that's good. Yeah, that's it's good just, thing. yeah, patina is just another, another, it's a fancier word for, you know, not new. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> if, you, if you're trying to sell an old car and it's all rusted, you just say, hey, yeah, yeah. yeah, look at the patina. Yeah. Good job, Ron. Thank you. There you can see that fish line now. Where yeah. Oh, yeah. Line. Yeah. Oh, then so I had a, a snoot on the uh, strobe and a, um, a, a grid in the, uh, in the snoot. Uh, I just... Mm -hmm. I really like this class. You guys are so ingenious. So many good shots. Look at this. Well done. Lael has two, right? Yeah, we go. All right, Lael. Uh, hi, Don. Hi. Um, how did you do this? I suspended the glasses and put a yellow board behind it, yellow piece foam board. Okay. And then... It seemed other people were just showing their shadow, so I took a picture of the shadow and put it up too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so one. if this is hanging, how are you getting the, the shadow over there? Well, the, the light, the main light is to the right um, shining. It's just a uh, bare strobe with, I guess it's got a five inch reflector on it and just shining on the uh, foam board. It's kind of cool. You got this sort of V thing going here. I think it's, I think it's a really, oh, I see. It's touching there. It's touching the board. Almost. Almost. Got it. Got it. Got it. That's very clever, Lil. That's very clever. 
Um, I got to say, this is the hardest thing we've done yet in my mind. Yeah, I've really struggled with this. Well, I'm glad you struggled with it because you ended up getting a nice shot. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, it's a little soft contrast. What did you do in post? Nothing. I I do have a, uh, a strobe with a snoot through a, um, uh, you know, scrim to light up the front a little bit. It was really dark, so... I just needed a little light on the front. Okay. Let's see, can I get this? Oh, not with that. There. Oh, that. I'll show you guys something as soon as we're done looking at all the pictures. Did I get it? Did I get it? Yep, there we go. And that, by the way, that's how I build my portfolio. I just find shit I like and drag it onto my desktop. It's It's cool. <clears throat> so I'll I'll show you just a little trick or so with that. Okay. Uh, shadow is cool. <laughs> That's really cool. I'd put that in my portfolio if I were you, Leo. Okay. I'm absolutely serious about it. Yep. It's just funky enough to have somebody go, how the hell did you do that? So good for you. Thanks. Uh, Kit. Hi, Don. Hi, Kit. Uh, wow. Nice shot, sir. Thank you. Took me all week to think of it, though. Doesn't matter how long it took you to think of it. All that matters is you got a really good shot. I want you to shoot the coffee again at some point down the road, okay? Because mm -hmm. this, this is a perfect shot. I just want to add one thing to it. I want you to shoot it and I want you to get a couple of bubbles right on the edge here. And then Photoshop those bubbles as we got just a little bubble right there. Okay. Yeah, the cup's actually was, empty. What's that? The cup's actually empty. Oh, well then forget the bubbles. Obviously, <laughs> obviously it's you know, we don't want bubbles growing. Other if if that's the case, it oh. won't look like bubbles, it'll look like mold which is not nearly as attractive as, as the bubbles in the coffee. All right, so it's an empty one. Uh, it's really, really super well done, Kit. Uh, it's perfect going through this way, coming out. Um, yeah, I mean, what do you say about that? That's a, that's a great shot, sir. That's a great Sing, shot. Single speed light toward the end of the room. Yeah, and your speed light's very far away, correct? Yeah, I, I had to move it back and kind of up to shrink the shadow a little yeah. bit. And so the, your light is so far back that your edges are very, very sharp. How far back would you say it was? Uh, at least six feet. Okay. That's nice. Wow. That's great, Lyle. Great. I mean, Kent. Thanks. That's great, man. Jerry. Hi, Don. Hi, Jerry. How are you? Pretty good. This feels like uh, window light, morning window light. Is that what we're supposed to, we're going after? Yeah, that's what I was trying to do, yeah. Okay. That's what it feels like. Early morning warmth. I like you've got a little bit light up here. I love the, when it gets brighter in the back like that. Um, Really well styled, Jerry. Your, you. your muffins look great. This looks great in here. We got so many nice things happening in the shot. Oops, what did I do? What did I do? I did that with it, sorry. Uh, so many nice things in the shot. Um, and your composition is, is, uh, is quite good. Everything leads us to the star of the show, which are these guys. Our leading lines here, our shadow leading lines there. We're actually pointing at it with that leading lines there and the spoon coming in that way. Uh, it's a study in leading line work. Thank you, yeah. And uh, your, um, your lens, sir, 18 to 55 at 48. Yeah, it's a crop sensor. And your, is the light actually sunlight window light or is it strobe? 
No, it's a no, it's a, a, a speed light. Speed light. One's just one. Just one, and I and I just put some uh, branches in front of it. Oh, okay. Uh, and, and what so are you, you filling it with? Sorry. Sorry. What are you filling it with? We got a white card on this side. Yes. Yeah. I, it's a big, huge white card. Okay. Because your shadows are not deep. Yeah. 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 Which is beautiful, and you, the the biscuits look all nice and lit up there. Very cool. That's a really good shot, Jerry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You should be very proud of this shot. Are you a still life shooter? Only since I met you, Don. <laughs> you know what really sucks is how long it took us back in the day to get even close to as good as Jerry's shot that he's done in five weeks. Well, in fairness, I was on the last session as well. Yeah, nice. Very nice. Your set looks good too, by the way. Very professional. These are great. And is that a um, like plywood board? Uh, yes. NDF. Yep. yep. Best best tabletop friend you can have, guys. Looks like it's about three by four, two by four. Uh, yeah. 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 Perfect. Perfect. Oh, look at that. Anna, is that a guitar pick, Annalise? No, hey Don, that's actually um, a heart, sort of like a an ornament. Oh, it's about okay. Eight eight inches or so tall. Uh huh. Wow, and is it held up by a fishing line or something? Yeah, it is. There's actually a um, a circle, like a little round um, circle at the at the V of the heart, but I uh -huh. thought to check that out. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, I like how it just gently touches down here. This is really, really cool. Thanks. You know, I, I tried so many different configurations. Um, I was trying to get it from the front at first, and I don't know why it didn't dawn on me why I wasn't getting the, the shadow, the whole heart of the shadow. And then finally, the, um, the heart kind of spun around a little bit, and mm -hmm. I thought, why didn't I think of that? Shoot it from the backside. Mm-hmm. I would I would tell you to make a uh, go to um, blurb mm -hmm. or moo and make a set of thank you cards out of this. That's a great idea. Yeah, when you're when you're um, are you a professional photographer? I'm just launching myself as one. Yes, I've been trying to. I've been building my catalog. I wasn't sure what. Um, what lane I wanted to be in before I just knew I really wanted to make photos. And I think that um, I found the way I want to go. Thanks to in great part to a lot of things I've learned from you. It's given me a bit more confidence. Are you, are you leaning towards commercial work or uh, yes. consumer work? Commercial work? Yeah. And where are you located? I'm in Syracuse, New York. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I've got a, a, one of my, um, one of my long time, Members is in, uh, what's the other town up near you? It's Joe. It's Joe, isn't Joe, it? Joe yeah, yeah. yeah, he introduced me to this class. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, we, um, yeah. I joined a meetup in Syracuse for local photo for professional photographers, and uh -huh. he told me about this class when he learned that I was, um, you know, trying to branch into commercial photography. Uh, Syracuse is a, is a really good town. It's a lot of medical uh, mm -hmm. Companies there's a really good town for tabletop. It really yeah. is. Uh, I don't know what way, what way you're leaning, but tabletop is uh, is huge in, in a place like that. Medical supplies, instruments, and things like that. You can build up a good business. Another thing that I'm um, one area I'm trying to get better at is 360 photography. So doing the spin photography. Mm -hmm. um, I and I've noticed a, a big uptick in that on on Amazon and, you know, on, on lots of e-commerce sites? Everywhere. I am telling every photographer in my classes that they have, there is an opportunity here to make a lot of money and help a lot of people. If yeah. there's a company in your town, a store that sells anything, they must be online. Mm -hmm. And that means photography. 
Yeah. But it also means that maybe it's time for, if you don't know how to set up a store, go and take the Shopify free class so that when you're talking to the lady who sells um, African tunics, for instance, you can say, I'll shoot them. I'll build your store at Shopify. Mm -hmm. We'll put it up. You charge a nice rate. And then you keep that client by saying, uh, every month you send me 10 new tunics. I shoot them. I put them on your site. Uh, and then you get a, 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 a retainer. So you, you charge 1500 to 2000 to build a website. And then you get three, $400 a month retainer to, to basically spend 30 or 40 minutes on their website. That's brilliant. Um, yeah, my, there is. And everybody needs to do it. Yes. My husband's actually going through school right now for digital marketing. So this is the area that he also wants to branch out into. Yep. Yeah. Well, you have two websites, Shopify and Squarespace. Yep, Squarespace. With everything you need to sell anything. They've got the credit card hookup and everything. Yep. It's not that hard to learn how to do it. Justin. That's actually where we fit my website up on is on Squarespace. Yep. And they've got so many great portfolios. And if you know, um, if you know how to really work the website, you know, and, and really brand it to your own personal brand, take away the Squarespace logo and do all that stuff. It can really look very sharp. Oh, absolutely. Squarespace, Squarespace is, uh, um, I'm a design. I use, um, I use WordPress. Okay. Uh, but I always, uh, but when photographers ask me about it, I, I tell them, do you want to be a webmaster? And, you know, up, you know, WordPress updates like every uh, 12 minutes or some damn thing. I mean, it's always you're in there fixing plugins and, you know, do you want to do that? Or do you just want to make photographs and put them on a website? Because if that's yeah. what you would do, Squarespace or format, both of those are great choices. They're easy to do and they look so good. Because you know, free websites aren't aren't worth a darn if they don't look good for photography. Exactly. And both exactly. of those. To pay for. Yep. Yeah. Both of those are good. This is beautiful. I love it. I would like I said, I would make a card out of it. Absolutely. Thank you. Oh, and I wanted to say too, I'm really looking forward to your um to the, the light painting. Um, when I said before, I said it's lots of fun. I know it sounded like I said I've done it lots of times, but I've only done it a couple of times, just played around, and it's. I'm so I'm looking forward to um to taking that from you as well. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to, uh, that'll be up before, I don't know if it'll be eight weeks, but it'll be a couple of weeks or something, but I'll put that up before the end of the year. Cool, very Get cool. Get some videos made, yep. Yeah, there's, uh, I've got a, uh, I'll show you his work real quick. This is, Wait a minute, that's wrong James Kern. Uh, ooh, I gotta find James. James uh, in Philadelphia is getting quite a lot of airtime. Yes, yeah, he's got a lot of, uh, he's, he knows what to do with his, uh, he knows what he, what he's, uh, he may have died too. SEO and everything, yeah. Yeah, well, that, that would suck. Uh, let's see if this is a, if the James Kern I, I think it is. Yeah, this is James, light painted. He uses flashlights. He makes little crushed cardboard things. He makes tiny little speed light. I mean, tiny little soft boxes, uh, and just you know all. All painted with light. It's just really, really great stuff. Very nice. All right, let's get back to what we were doing. Lovely stuff. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for that. Really nice. Terry, is Terry here? Terry McDermott? Yep, I'm here. <laughs> All right. So you caught uh, the repeated uh, shapes and repeated shadows. Yes. And since I was out of town and traveling around, I didn't find a a way to do it but I saw this on my adventure and I'm like oh look at that yeah why not as long as, sure. you're, as, long as like you're shooting that's all that matters and it was me thinking of the lesson still so yeah <laughs> so where are you out of town too 
Um, I was up in Northwest Montana and I got home last night. Oh, Northwest Montana's got blue skies? Yeah, that day they did. They're kind of oh. hazy. Okay. Uh, a circular polarizer really helped. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'm going to Colorado in 23 days, so I'm sure hoping we get some of these things put out. Yes, they had snow. Yes, they did. Yeah, it didn't put out. It didn't put out. Um, it put out a whole bunch of fires, but it didn't put out the two big ones. No, unfortunately, uh, it helped them contain them, so they're much more contained. But that that area is just so rugged; they, it's hard to fight a fire in the Rocky Mountains. Oh it's, yeah, it is. Same out here in our mountains; are very yeah. steep and rugged. Yeah, it's hard to even hike through some of those places. So, so this wasn't a typical what we were supposed to do, but it was me thinking of the lesson while I was out wandering around. So, <laughs> Garden of a Thousand Buddhas. Yes. And on the other side of each of these goodies, there's a little Buddha. And people who donate money to help the cause get a little name, a little plaque with a saying on it. You should count them. <laughs> sure that there's a thousand. Because what if there's only 997? Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah, that would just suck. <laughs> very nice. Very nice, Terry. Okay, thanks. You have fun out there. Yeah, I did. Mark. Good afternoon. Hey, okay. What's, uh, so what's going on with this? Um, I wanted the feeling of a cup of coffee in the morning with muffin and like the sun coming through the window, casting the shadow from the muffin and the coffee. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would I would rather have you shot it from above so we can see the shadow of the muffin and the mm -hmm. coffee. Yeah. Now yeah, you got your bubbles in the coffee. That's good. Uh is it window light? No. It's a uh, snoop. Oh, oh okay. Stu on my studio flash. And, I and you've got you got a couple of white cards. That's the reflection of the cutting board. This is the cutting board here? Yeah, and then you see that muffin. You can see the reflection of the muffin. See the right muffin? There. What is this? That's the cutting board. That's the two edges of the cutting board. Oh, okay. Because it's that glass is curved, so it's seeing I see. I see down and then the, the shadow cast through it. I kind of yeah. like the play with the shadow and the reflection of the cup there. Yeah, I just a uh, couple of things with it. Mm -hmm. You got two things here on the on the table mm -hmm. and we got this distance between them okay and there's no reason for that distance it's okay. like thing a and thing b where if we brought this muffin over the edge here a little bit then they're related okay they'll relate together you'll feel more cohesive uh and the second thing is whoever who the hell eats only one muffin come on you're missing a muffin <laughs> <laughs> that's that's like a snack muffin. You got to have yeah. two muffins. I thought about having one to the side and then oh. one out of the wrapper, maybe cut in half or something. But I didn't want to make it about the muffin. So yeah, I, I yeah I think you should have shot it from straight down so we could see this shape as the shadow went across. Okay. I still have everything set up. I can give a good I work. I worked on it today. So good. Good. Yeah, and use your cutting board and the brown table as some sort of delineation within the picture. Okay. Maybe, you know, two-thirds cutting board, one sh one brown, and have the shadow of the cup go across that break, which would be okay. kind of cool because it's going to warp it a little bit. Okay. Something like that. Yeah. I tried getting a couple from the top, but I have to um... – the problem I was running into is it was getting really dark because I'm using the Octobox for the ambient light. So I was blocking the Octobox in order to get in there because I was <clears throat> shooting handheld. Uh huh. <clears throat> I'll uh, set it up on the tripod and with the arm sticking over. And... Okay. All right. All right. Well, that's the last of the shots. But I do want to go in to Photoshop here. Uh, and this was Jerry's shot, right, Jerry? Yep. yep. Okay. So Jerry's shot looks really good. Let me see what else I would do with it because Jerry said he didn't do anything with it. And I don't want to, I'm not a heavy Photoshop guy, Jerry. I'm really not. I, I, I like what I like, but I don't do it. 
do too much to the pictures. I like my pictures to look like photographs. I admire people who do all kinds of composite work. I think it's really cool, um, but that's not me. Okay, so I use a tool called Nick, and the only one that is, they give you all these presets over here, uh, which I rarely, if ever, use. Uh, I just use this one here, Pro Contrast. Pro Contrast uh, adds contrast to 10 levels of luminance. So it takes each level of luminance and creates a little S curve within that level. So instead of you know, doing the entire image with one level, we're gonna do it a little bit with each uh, little bit of it. So this is one preset that they have. Do you see how that really cleans it up? Yeah. And the other one is, is it this one? This one cleans it up too much. It removes your warmth. You don't, we don't want to remove the warmth from this picture. Um, that's in the correct color cast. And then the last one actually is probably the one I think you see in your head. It's still warm, but we've got some contrast. We're seeing the texture in the uh, muffins a little bit better and down in here. So I'm going to say okay on this one. Uh, usually, you can come over here and do all kinds of things. Usually, you can, you can uh, I'll move this up to about 40. Pull a little more contrast out of it. And you can see that. So I'm going to go back to Photoshop now. Before, after, before, after. Feels really, really good. I'm going to lighten up your red jam now. I'm going to hold the option key down while I click on down here. I click on new layer. And then when we get the new layer dialog box here, I'm going to click on overlay. And then it says fill overlay neutral color 50% gray. I'm going to tick that on and say OK. So what I have on here is a layer that's 50% gray, which means if I lighten a pixel in this layer in overlay, it's going to lighten what's underneath it without changing the color because it's 50% gray. There's no color added to, the, to that layer. So, and if I darken it, it's going to take it down darker without changing color. If you use the Bernie and Dodge tool, these bad boys over here, they'll actually change the color of your pixels. So I like to use this one. It's non-destructive as well. Uh, I'm going to grab a brush right here. I've got a nice, you can see the circle on the brush. And the opacity up here goes to 10%. That's all, just 10%. It's a, li it's a big move at 10%. It, it, at 60%, you'll actually see it looks like you're painting with white. So I'm going to change it to black and white. I'm going to use white. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to dab it on these strawberries. Just dab it a little bit in the shadow area there. Uh, you can hear me dabbing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come in here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so right in there, we're gonna one, two, three, four, five, six. Doesn't look like we did a whole lot until we turn it off. Now we got our nice jam here. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger, and I'm gonna go right here to these sides of the muffin. I'm gonna click once, twice, once, twice, once, twice. That's it. That's all I'm going to do on there. And your drink here, the orange juice, or whatever this is, one, two, three, four. Four times down. We're good. I think I'll go right here. One, two, three, four, five. I think it's looking pretty good. So I can turn it off. And we've just added to the feeling and the, and the, and the overall look to the shot little bit. And that's what I do on, on, I do that on pretty much every shot. What I'm looking for, I could go in here with white and take these highlights here and go one brush here, two brush, one brush, two brush, 
one brush, two brush, uh, just adding a little bit to the natural highlights. You notice what I did down here? They're the natural highlights. I'm just pulling them up a very, very slight bit. Gotcha. 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 All right, we'll go back to where we were. And you can see the difference. So, all right. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. Let's go down here. I want to do. Um, whose sunglasses are these? Hold on. Wait, we'll get them up. Whose are these? Those are mine, Lyle. Wow. All right. So, same thing, Lyle. You've got this really nice shot, but it looks a little flat because digital, especially in the studio, is flat. So, I'm going to do the same color effects, Nick, on, on yours. We're not gonna. Uh, we're gonna use the exact same one we used on the, on uh, the last one, Jerry's, because I'm leaving that at forty percent. And I'm gonna say yes, okay. That's a little dark over here, right? A little too dark right. for me. So I'm gonna go add a mask right here. Boom, got a mask on it, and I'm going to go to my brush, and I'm gonna go to black. Make this thing a little bit big. It's on 10%. I'm going to go to 15. I don't want to use like 100% when you mask things. I don't want to do that. I just want to paint it in until I get what I want out of it. So one, two, one, two, right here we will get one. There we go. Oh, yeah. Just these glasses need to pop. Right. Um, and, and you know, we made the uh, shadow a little bit darker, but I think it can stand being a little bit darker. And we can make it lighter. Uh, you can keep working it to make it lighter if you want. Uh, the other thing we can do right here on this with that white um, or the black, so we're revealing what's underneath it. We could do something like, sorry, hold on. I'm going to go back to this and I'm going to go in here to, I don't know if you guys have played with this, select subject. Look at it. Did it. Yeah. Got the sunglasses. Come on, you got to admit that's pretty cool. <laughs> that is. Come on, we're going to Command J. So now the sunglasses are on their own layer. Ooh, so is that. We'll get rid of that real quick by doing this. Uh, so sunglasses on our own layer. We'll go back to the layer below it. And the layer before that. There we go. Uh, and now we're going to go to this layer, the middle layer. Uh, maybe we'll go, yeah, we're going to go up a layer, put a new layer in it, layer two, brand new layer. And we're going to, no, we're going to take that layer off. We're going to make a new layer with the option key down. Overlay. We're going to make it much more subtle than paint. So we got the overlay on there. Now we get our white on our brush, uh, about that big. And I'm going to make a little small circle right there underneath this. And as I make a new tap with my, with my mouse, I'm going to make the circle a little bit bigger. So I'm going to one tap, two taps, three taps, four taps, five taps, six taps, eight, seven taps, eight taps. Way too bright. But look what we do when we take the opacity. We just take it down and we have that nice brightness right behind oh, yeah. the glasses. Just adds a little bit to it. All right, so this will all be in the video. So if, you, if you're if you at all interested in what we did here, you can just come back to the video, run it to the end and, and check it out. All I right, any questions and stuff? It's a blast today, guys. Our new assignment has already been made live. 
So you can go over to, to the class page here, go down, and the next one is a one large soft light is the assignment. One large, no kicker lights. Uh, fill cards are allowed, all that's allowed, but just one big soft light. So everybody enjoy, and we'll yes. see you next time. Thanks, Don. All right, guys. Thanks. Take care. Burned a lot. Thanks, Don. Thanks, Don. Thanks, Don. Thanks, Don. Thanks, Don. Thanks, Don. Have a good week, everybody. Have a good week.